Welcome back. This is Board Game Officer. And Cooper is back. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> I have my nephew here with me once again to play through some Rogue Angels Legacy of the Burning Sun. All right, so we are on scenario 10 here. Close Encounter. We're just going to jump right on in and start off. All right, so we're Close Encounter. We're still in Vexation. We are orbiting Fury's Fall. We just ran, a ran away from Fury's Fall, and we are on board ship. Gwendar. Commander, I suggest that I take Paradis and a Yenny with me to the cargo bay to repel any intruders there. Gunner will help Camrel with the ship. Hopefully we can manage to push all rivers back while Camrel gets us to safety. Good luck. Sounds like a plan, Lieutenant. I hope you'll manage up here, Commander. The sound of metal claws intensifies as the three crew members disappear into the stern of the ship. Commander, it's up to you now. Get ready and good luck. Gunner, file all turrets. Keep my trajectory clear. <laughs> Translator. Noted. Firing program initiated. Just as the ship starts a long series of maneuvers, the Reavers breach the inner hole. Action. Yeni Naru has left your team for this mission only. Well, goodbye, Miss Yeni. That sucks. <laughs> the ship starts with 15 health. Oh, interesting. Track and adjust the ship's health by using the item token on the turn track. When ready, continue to C-10B. Commander, remember to utilize our equipment on the ship and be careful. The signatures indicate that we have both crawlers and hunter drones boarding us. Success. There is no turn limit. Have the ship on at least one health when the last enemy is destroyed. Story. Okay, so the river crawlers, before spawning new enemy, each river crawler on the ship deals one damage to the ship. Enemy, spawn one enemy of each color on the respective squares every mission check until two have spawned. Explosive, you cannot use action cards with weapons classified as explosive. So that does mean that I cannot use my cyanic shock grenade, which I've used that quite a bit, so that is kind of sad. Uh, armory side, when inside you may move one action card one slot to the left after your free reset. Med bay, when inside you may move one damage card slot to the left after your free reset. Cool. <laughs> and then failure if the ship reaches zero health or all players are unconscious and then restart the mission all right so we can start anywhere on the ship uh, let's see ready two reaver callers within our reaver hunter drones on y14 and then jamming attack all right so here we have our kind of setup but this is really cool so this is map 14 that it told us to put on top which is just space so our ship is in the middle of space how cool is that then we've got our ship health at 15 here and we don't spawn anything until the first mission check of my understanding where do we want to start so we know they're going to spawn right here and here all right so i am going to go first as hero because he's got that big old sniper and i have this which can give me permanent shields which will come in handy so i'm going to put that on slot four there for my first action yep that's all that I'm going to do. Now, that's just the mission check to spawn there. And now they get to go. The red gets to go. So we have jamming attack. All enemies that are not activated by the sequence will use the exclamation mark. Oh, it's going to pull you. <sighs> LDS. LOS. Line of sight. All right. So the first one is going to move towards the nearest player, which he doesn't need to because he has a range of six there. So one, two, three, four, five. So he doesn't need to move. He's going to attack the nearest player, which is me, which is for two damage. So I'll go down three to one shield. Second nearest, luckily not within line of sight. Then then, because he didn't activate, he's going to use the exclamation. All players within two spaces of this enemy moves an action card one to the right. Not within two spaces, so we're good. Sorry, Light. All right, and now it is Layla's turn. All right, I'm going to use this card first, and because I'm within range, and it is my first action, I do deal four undefendable damage to the yellow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's tracking. Did I do? And I can roll two dice. Oh, yeah. So w I will do that. Did I did. All right, so now... You want that movement. Movement, no. Can you augment? Yeah, nothing is augment. Either way. I'm using... Oh, oh I forgot to mention. End of my turn. That token. So I'm using this one. It deals one undefendable damage to an enemy within three. I am not in range, so... But I can roll one die. So I'm going to try to get movement that way. Bending focus. <laughs> I'm going to use another focus. Or roll die. Plus this out. Still, nothing. Last focus. I'm using the last focus. Yes! Now <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're within range. Oh. <laughs> um, that's only one. Yep. Oh, but it's undefendable. I'm gonna do it this way. <laughs> <laughs> Close enough. <laughs> and then it gets sucked. <laughs> Go into space. Enemy's turn. And then this one will spawn right back, but that is the second one. So we're going to use that too, knowing that this is the second one that has spawned, even though it's the only yellow one. And now, the yellow is going to activate. So we got all enemies that are not activated, same thing. Play with the least amount of focus. I wonder who that is. <laughs> <laughs> so, his, his range is one, so he's going to move one, two, and he's going to attack the same nearest player, so he attacks you for one undefendable. Alright, and it is... Move one action card to the right, can't, and then place on number two. Which it magically appeared there. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> now I'm doing my free rest. 
Nice. So we did forget that this one here, the Reaver Crawlers, before spawning new enemies, each Reaver Crawler on the ship deals one damage to the ship. However, we killed this Crawler, so we did not have to win that one. However, this time, during the mission check, there was a Reaver. Yes, yes. So, the damage, or the ship gets one damage. All right, all right. Forgot to show that that was on his deck there, or on his player board, so I just wanted to show it. So now either one of us can go. I'm going to go Nexus Hero. I'm first going to use this guy here. It's in four, so I do need to add one range, but I can't. Hopefully, I'll get plus one. Doing three damage, I'm attacking the number one guy. So I attack here. Oh, plus two. So I do, that's plus two range. So that's six range. He's only range five. I do three damage. He's got a shield of one, so that's out of four health. And then I'm going to do this. Because it's my second action, I do two undefendable. And this guy, I get to plus two range. So I'll use that token there. So plus two range. So now he's within range. I will do two undefendable damage. And I, yeah. Oh, he killed me. <laughs> so I can <laughs> take him out with me. Take if myself out with down, him. If you're going down, I'm going <laughs> yeah. with me. However, because of how this was here, everything is going to go down and activation token flips over. Now it is the check mission. We do have a reaver, so that will go down one more. And now the reds get to go. Nearest player. Ooh, here. Ah, oh, dang, you're nearest. He's going to move towards the nearest. One, two. Actually, he's going to go nearer there. And then he's going to attack the nearest player, which is just you. He's not going to be able to see me. He attacks lay light for two. So shield goes down to three to one. That was actually perfect. And then yellow gets to activate. All players within range of two of this enemy move an action card one to the right that's the only one you can you'll have to move that rifle to the right one there all right now it is Leila's turn i'm gonna play this card it deals five damage to an enemy within four range but i immediately end my turn without the free rest action um so i'm dealing five to this guy but he does have a shield still dies suck that into space <laughs> now because this card did steal the free rest action use my second action to use my free rest action now, the yellow gets to activate. There's a reaver. Check for one. Moves towards the one with the lowest focus, which is still Leili, and attack for one undefendable. <laughs> Place this card on one. How did it know that you're not going to go on one? This game's magic. magical. Magical! <laughs> that did give me this card back, so that's good. Nice. That's actually not bad at all. So, I'm playing this card. Um, doing five damage, but I'm going to use this right here. Put those away. So, I do do one extra damage. That's six damage, so he will be left at one damage. Pow! And then I'm gonna do this one and hope for a plus two. You're zero focused. <laughs> With my zero focus. Risking it for the biscuit. It. Two movement. Two movement. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So this guy is left with one health left. Then he is going to attack the ship for one more, down to 11. He is going to activate, moving towards Leili. Um, so you're going to attack you for one undefendable. Lose one focus. Oh, oh no. no. <laughs> Place this card on three. That was really, really bad. Get this back, though. That's good. Nice. This is really good. So I need this card back to do anything. So I'm going to do a rest action here at first. And then I'm going to play that card. And I do get one dice. So if I get two movement, then I can move and shoot. Oh, that's a plus two, but I need two movement, not a plus two. So that does nothing, so I'll one focus. Yes! Uh. So I'll go one, two, which does put me within range of him and line of sight there. This, Dramatic because it's my speed. second one, <laughs> does two undefendable damage, which will kill him. And at the end of my turn, this flips down. Then this goes down for my free rest action. I am in the armory, so I get to move one to the left as well. So I get that one back. And have at least, have the ship on at least one health when the last enemy is destroyed. The last enemy was destroyed. We've got plenty of health. We'll go to mission update number one. Commander, we can't handle all the reavers down here they're changing tactics some are making it to you upstairs watch out siege breakers are coming your way attention our power level is critical i must divert all auxiliary power from non-essential elements including the med bay and armory to keep the engine fields running can't utilize those anymore oh, that sucks all right success no turn limit once again have the ship on at least one health when they last enemy destroyed unconscious player recovered at least after the mission with one scar reaver scavenger before spawning each reaver and scat reaver scavenger on the ship deals one damage to the reaver siege breaker if the enemy is not killed in one action it will self detonate after the action damages the explosion deals two damage to all objects within squares and six damage to the ship six damage yeah spawn one enemy of each color on the respective square every mission until two have spawned you cannot use cards with weapons classified as explosions and then uh, either the ship or hero dies and as you can see they just have two new spawning points a new enemy behavior card is automated all right let's go ahead and get in this all right so now either one of us can go and i think <laughs> cooper should 
go because they haven't spawned yet. They won't spawn until we have our next mission check, which is after the next person's turn. So, yep, I think Lady Light is going to go. So, for my turn, I want to get rid of all of my damage. So, to start my turn, I'm going to get rid of all of my damage by using both free rest, not free rest actions, both actions to rest, and then I'll have my free rest action, which will get rid of all of my damage. And the red activate towards the it's gonna to move towards the last activated player. It has three movement, it has a range of two, so it's just gonna move one there. Actually, technically it's gonna move there because that's a little bit closer to him. And then he's gonna attack for one the defendable. So he's just down to zero shields. If the activated enemy did not move during its activation, include that. Nope, so that's it. That wasn't sweet. So now hero is gonna go. Yeah. Alright, so I'm gonna do a my basic move here. Ooh, move three. One, two. And then I'm gonna do my sculpt rifle, which is three damage within four. I do get two dice here. See if I can't get and shields back. Wonderful. Ooh, I do get one shield back. I'm at two shields. Then I do three damage to him. He's got three health with zero defense, so he died. Ooh, yeah. At some Sometime point. soon. <laughs> so, end of my turn, I get a free rest action. Put my token over. Once again, that scavenger did not do it because you're supposed to do damage to the ship before it spawns, and it was not spawned before my turn. So, that was the end of my turn. Now, either one of us actually, now they spawn again. So, we'll do number two again, so we know that's the second one there. Number two, one there. All right. So now the yellow are going to activate. Number one attacks the nearest player, which there's no nearest player. And then it's going to move towards the last activated player, which is me. It's going to stop right there. Next one is going to move towards the last activated player. Ooh, interesting. Oh, wait, actually, yeah, it can. Last activated player, which is actually going to go one, two. That is a door back there, as you can see. So that is still adjacent to hero. So he still attacks hero for one damage. He has one or two shields, so he goes down to one shield. And that's everything. Either one of us can actually go. So I'm going to use my first uh rest action so i can get this back so that i can use it to deal five damage to enemy within four he dies yep. <laughs> yeah both of them. <laughs> nice and that was one shot so they do not explode oh yeah and explain that you don't have and i do not have the free rest action all right so now the red is going to activate you're going to move towards the last activated player there's one one now he's within range of two and he'll attack the nearest player for one damage to Leilai. and Leilai has zero shields <laughs> there you go move an action card one to the right discard this card <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so it is Hero's turn. I'm going to do this basic move action, but I'm going to do this move an ally for two. As I spin this token to move, or for at least one, or maybe we want to go this far. That would happen. So Layla is going to move there, and then I'm going to move two, one. Then, I'm just going to do my basic interact for an attack of one. Come on, plus two to kill him, plus two to kill him. Plus one, I do two damage. Plus one! <laughs> one. Alright, that is what it is. I think I think we're okay anyway. Alright, so free rest action, that comes back to my hand. This flips over. Reaver does one more damage. Now, yellow is going to activate. So, it is going to attack the nearest player, which no one is near him, and it's going to move towards the last activated player. So one, two. Away. So, I'm going to do this uh, deal one damage to an adjacent enemy, which does mean I get a roll dice. Plus two. <laughs> that doesn't help me at all. <laughs> that would have helped me. <laughs> Ooh, that's a good that one. A good one. <laughs> that means this goes off, and I'll use my second action to rest. All right. Now the yellow activates again because there's no red, there's no reaver, so it does not hurt our ship. Attacks the nearest player uh, for one damage, so I go down to zero to one. Shields and moves towards the last activated player, which he's going to move one there, and <clears throat> that's it. All right. So now it is hero's turn. I don't know what to do, but I can kill him if you don't kill him. All right. So I'm just going to place this shield just in case, because why not? Place that on the four. Then nothing for my last second action. Free rest action. Goes down one flip this action over no scavengers so no damage the yellow gets to go so however he's going to attack the nearest player which we are even here so we go towards last active player which is me i don't have oh i do have one permanent shield so therefore i do not get hurt then it moves but it cannot move so because it cannot move it's dealing one damage to all adjacent players once again i have a permanent shield so it does nothing to me but it is going to hurt Leili. Lose one. All right. So actually, now either one of us can go. I could kill him. I cannot. So I'm going to go again because I finally figured out how I could kill him. Maybe well, right I can't there. without you. All right. So I'm going to play this card here, BMS device, where really all that I'm doing is I have to spend this one last token here, do one damage on my next action. I do get to roll three dice. Oh, I do get another shield back. And I have two movement. That's not going to matter because then I'm going to place this, which does three damage, but I get to do one extra damage. Let me just double. Can't do that one. That one is my Look at those numbers. If I would put it right. Oh, that's 
just look. Oh, I'm gonna. So my last turn, I did do two rest actions. So I'd put it here, two rest, a, a rest action, and then a free rest action at the end. Because this turn, I'm gonna play my BMS device, which I'm just gonna use this, which I'm just gonna use this last token here to add one damage to my next one. Then I play this, deal three damage plus the one, which is four damage, which is exactly what you need to die. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So last enemy has been destroyed, and the ship has plenty of health. Its success continued to mission update two alpha. Commander, the last reavers have been destroyed in the cargo bay. It's been secured and sealed off. Translator, we have a missile lock. Be careful. I see. Get ready to... A large explosion on the exterior throws everyone around. We've lost power in the controls. We're, we're forced to descend into the atmosphere of Fury's Fall. Everyone, strap in. This will be a bumpy entry. Gunner, do we have any pursuers? Everything turns orange and bright as the ship enters the atmosphere. <laughs> Translator, no pursuer, but auxiliary powered down to 8%, shutting down all turrets. I've lost control of the leveling. Prepare for an emergency landing. Brace for impact. Igniting landing thrusters at maximum. The ship makes a last effort to break its violent re-entry and manages to level out before touching the first rocky crater. The ship's landing gear is ripped off a as the ship starts its brutal touch. Red dust from the hot and toxic surface whirls around the ship as it comes to a complete halt. When ready, continue to C-11B. Stranded. Dun dun dun. Alright, there you have another playthrough of Scenario 10. It's been great having my nephew Cooper here. I had so much fun this time. Woo 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 woo. And that was actually pretty easy. The last two have been very hard. Like, it was actually way yeah. harder than this. I feel like this wasn't too bad. This was very manageable with them coming out like one at a time like that. So I feel okay about how that went. Yeah, I feel okay too. Alright, cool. And I, see you later. Goodbye.